Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our tutorial video on rabbit structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to insert rebars in your footings. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll go to the level which contains our footings. As you can see, our base level is here. Our If you want to see the base level, you can also always go to the elevations and you can check which is your base level so here our base level is named as level 2 so simply we can go to our base level by double clicking on it and then we can cut a section on the footings in which we want to provide the rebars so for that we need to go to the option of view and after that we can cut a section so let's like cut a section from here and then we can click outside and then double click on it and after the section has been opened we can zoom in on the footing now what we need to do is we need to go to the option of your structure and after that we're going to click on rebar so after clicking on rebar you can select the shape of the rebar since we have we need to provide this particular shape we'll select this shape and if you want you can edit the type or the size you can simply duplicate this uh, let's say uh, we want uh, here 12 mm bars so we can just insert 12 mm and click on OK and you can just change the diameter of it like 12 mm and you can calculate and insert the bar diameters and hook lengths and everything or if you don't want to calculate you can just click on here you can turn on the auto calculation it's by default it's off so you can turn on this auto calculation so it will calculate all the hook lengths and all automatically and just click on OK and we're going to click on OK here and then we're going to apply this so as you can see uh, the cover has been maintained while we provide a particular reinforcement so after that we're just going to click on modify and we're going to click on here we're going to go to rebar set and here we're going to click on maximum spacing so let's say we want to give it a spacing of 175 mm so the maximum spacing will be 175 mm we're going to click on modify and after that we are going to go to the 3d view to check so in 3d view let's uh, do it to wireframe will visual style will change to wireframe and then check out this so as you can see the bars have been provided as spacing of your 175 mm so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our foundation level we're going to cut another section we're going to view section and this time we're going to cut a section along this press outside and then escape and then double click on it after that same we're going to go along this and then go to the option of your structure rebar and after that we can simply put the rebar here and after that we can click on modify click on the rebar maximum spacing let's give it 175 modify go to the 3d view and check now as you can see uh, the rebar has been done if you want you can just turn on the particular realistic view you can click on it right click on it and then you can override graphics in view by element and increase the transparency so after we increase the transparency you can see that the rebars are visible so if you want to change the way the rebar is displayed we can just select the rebars select and then press ctrl and select this as well so as you can see two sets of rebars are selected now we can go to the option of graphics here in the properties option edit this and just select it this option that's view in the 3d view view unobscured and view as solid click on ok and after that you can see the rebars so as you can see we have provided our reinforcements in our footing in rubbish structures so if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to take professional training from us on any course related to civil engineering you can contact us so that's all for today's video see you in the next video bye bye